Welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as France, starting in 1920. This is episode 5, and we are in the middle of a massive fleet engagement with the Italian Navy. We have been playing for about two and a half hours, game time, but only for the last 30 minutes have the battle fleets been engaged, and even then, not all of the battle divisions are shooting each other just yet. It's being really difficult to coordinate the fleets, not helped by the fact that there's heavy weather out there that is limiting the speed for everyone to 22 knots. That's particularly important for the battle cruisers, obviously, because it nullifies their major advantage. My plan is to send my lead battle division, led by Requin, uh, northwards or north eastwards dragging the van of the Italian battle fleet with me. They seem to be heading to Trapini. Um, whether they'll go into port or not, I don't know. And they are exchanging lumps. We have hit them as many times as they have hit us. The only significant damage has been on the Patrie. The Patrie is one of my 15 inches of the Bouvet class, and it had a flash fire and has burnt out both of its forward turrets mercifully didn't explode the ship. The battle cruisers, I want to carry on uh, advancing as best they can in order to stop the Italians from retreating down to the south of Italy. Now this may be a forlorn hope because it's really not making a lot of headway. My two other battle divisions, one led by the Amdomtabla, for my pronunciation, and the other by the Charles Martel, are going to try and lead this force here, who I believe are a division of battlecruisers, and split them from the van. Now, my hope is that I can trap them between the two forces. My fear is that the battlecruisers are too far behind, and the battlecruisers will simply be able to turn away and go down to the south of Sicily. But I think under the circumstances, that's the best I can do. So I'm just going to quickly check all of my squadron settings and we'll start again. Okay, let's push them on. Where this takes us. <laughs> Three hits on us, hooray. Other hits on us and one on them. More hits on us. Batteries turret A doesn't matter. Okay, so these chaps down here have identified themselves as the French battlecruiser force. Uh, they are in the wrong place. These guys, let's just take a look at the range. So we're down to 8,000, 9,000 with four to under three percent hit chances at the moment. But I'm going to open that range up a little bit. A little key. The Andantable. Andantable. Okay, that's how you want to pronounce it. I'm going to start to cut them across. See if we can bring some order to this. Now, as soon as we've turned the Andantable and the Charles Mattel divisions across, the Italian battlecruisers have immediately started folding away. So, up banana in terms of splitting the Italian fleet. I don't think that's really going to be a problem. I'm going to pull away a little bit more. Actually, the Italians are pulling away as well. Um, still around about 9,000 yards. How about go? more hits. They seem to be hitting us more than we are hitting them. And usually that implies, so the range is opening now at nine and a half thousand. That usually implies that their fire control might be better than ours, or that the uh, wind conditions, uh, weather conditions are not in our favor. So let's just go have a little look at the actual stuff here. So the sea state is imposing a minus 30 on us, but it will be on everybody else. 
Minus 20 for being under fire. Ditto. Um, we have improved directors. So there's no, there's no smoke interference, for example. There's no fouling of the range. There's no evading. All of that kind of stuff going on. That's my pet theory at the moment, is that they have a better fire control, but that, that might not be true. Each. One each. Let's see. So the Andantable is still firing at the back of the Italian van, and as are the Charles Mattel. But I'm tempted to tell them to go and target battle cruisers. So that's a longer range for them, 17,100 yards, whereas the um, Italian van is 16,500. But I'm still going to get it to shift the range because actually their efforts against the Italian van will um, just be adding negative modifiers to everybody else. I'm going to straighten out the Charles Mattel and make it go due east, because the uh, Italians are already heading south-southeast. Down and ditto for and on table class. Why is that so hard to say? Just see how the battle cruisers are doing down here. And I'm going to level them to point at that uh, insula, Sicily. See if that will help at all. Otherwise, these battle cruisers are just going to escape. Now, thinking about it, now I do have the option of thinking, well, job done. This move has split the Italian force, so actually. The Andantable division just do this kind of thing and then actually start to turn that way. Charles Mattel, keep on chasing to keep them honest and to make sure that these three battle cruisers don't overwhelm our two battle cruisers down here. So I'm going to keep that as a possibility. So the Orokan as Google Translate tells me, it should be pronounced, is taking a little bit of a pasting. 14% damage, okay, it's not too awful. Obviously, the Patrie's 37% is because of the turrets. Range is now 10,000, so I'm a little bit more comfortable with that, so I'm going to just nudge them a point back towards the Italians as the Italians seem to be splitting up. The Andantable, I'm going to straighten. And the Charles Mattel, I'm going to keep on that because at least it's got some uh, broadside arcs. Although you can see down here, the rear turrets aren't able to fire at present. And that may be uh, a persistent difficulty. Okay, a couple more hits for us. And three more hits on us. A lot of us going on here, not a match of the enemy. Zoom out and check where the battle cruisers are. So they are almost in gun range. The plus side is that all this heavy weather is heavy going for the light cruisers and the destroyers. So they won't be able to make a mad rush at us. Uh, any destroyer attack is going to be quite a sedate affair. Range is now 12,000. So let's close that in a little bit more. Let's just check what's going to happen here. So, are the Italians going to run into Trapini? They're going to hide behind this island, which is going to interfere with our shooting fairly quickly. Tricky. A couple more battle cruisers there who are also potentially attractive targets. Not forget. One and two against us. I have to say, I'm not super impressed by the uh, the balance of shooting here.
Now it must be a bit of a murky day because the Italian battle cruisers down here have gone to um, unidentified. Um, the daylight sighting range is only 9,500. Oh. Charles Mattel is potentially a little bit slower at 20 knots than the full speed of uh, the battle cruisers. The battle cruisers, however, seem to be turning back. So, nice. Come into my trap, please. These destroyers, which I must have put onto uh, command, are now probably fouling the range for the battleships, and many gunnery officers are shaking their fists, going, get out the bloody way. So um, I think we're going to take them, turn them through the line, and make sure they get out the way. I could send them over to attack the Italians, but it would be such a slow, plodding attack They'd almost certainly be blown out of the water before they were able to achieve anything interesting. One of the dangers of putting things onto manual is you just sort of forget about it and then suddenly you go, oh, what on earth are they doing there? Back onto AI now. Okay themselves out. Now that does look like a torpedo that's been launched, which seems to be a very, very optimistic thing indeed. Meanwhile, what to do with the Andantabla division? We're going to be losing contact with the rear of the Italian van. So we need to commit either to chasing them up, there's these light cruisers and destroyers and bits and bobs around, so I'm less keen on that. So I think uh, I'm going to edge them down towards Italian battlecruiser force. Charles Mattel, we're uh, 11,000, 12, 13,000 on them. So I'd quite like to just straighten up and see if we can get a full broadside on them. And meanwhile, meanwhile, the Gloire and the Dessay are closing in. That all oh, we're just about in gunnery range of the Italians. So things, hopefully, are going to get a little bit hot for Italian gunnery. <laughs> Charles Mattel has taken a hit on its turret top, holding. The tree keeps on its role as a uh, ammunition magnet. Two hits on them, hooray. So now um, the battle cruisers are beginning to struggle to know what to do, I think. So the Charles Mattel will now have got all of their um, broadside. I'm just going to nudge them ever so slightly. Um, to starboard to just see if we can narrow the range. Obviously, the Andantables are a bit mal positioned, they're still firing at the rear. I'm going to check what's happening here. So, yeah, are the Italians going to go in or not? Just make sure that my ships don't actually hit this island. A bad thing. More hits, hide. <laughs> Double more hits on battery. Let's just see how it's holding up. Get it? Little bit of fur to 18 heavy hits. Uh, that's the whole division. Got by far and away the most damage. is here. Ten heavy hits. Move it. Four. Friedland. None whatsoever. Oh, they're having a jolly night. Uh, 
So I'm going to have to scoot between these two. So definitely straighten out there. Definitely come down that way. And eat for the sharp L. Start. Don't want these turns to be too big, both because I don't want to spoil the broadside, because you can see down here they are uh, having a broadside. And I don't want the turns to put the gunnery off too much. Look at uh, Loire. So they're, they're, their shooting at the moment is very poor. But only from the forward. I'd like to get the broadside in on them too. Now these Italian destroyers, I notice, are getting in the way. I don't know. And then they're turning back. So, the Italians are now definitely, they're heading way down towards the Loire. So I'm going to bring these two divisions in to chase a bit, and just going to push out the range. I don't know why the shooting is so poor, given that it's only 12,000 yards. So, let's have a little look at that, because it should be more. Sea state... Um, lots of ships firing at the same target. So, you know, combined with being under fire, that's 30, 60, 70, 80, minus, minus 80, uh, minus 90, because the next one for the crew quality not being so good. Uh, only 20 plus. So that really takes the basic hit chance down. And if I go back, that's the Gloire. I can only imagine there's something like smoke going on here. Yeah, smoke interference, 70%. I want to get out of that. Okay. Uh, uh, zoom in and wonder what to do. So take that back a little bit more as the Italians seem to be coming after us. That's done to the chance. Oh, yeah. Now, suddenly, from under 1% to 4%. Not sure why the Gloire's uh, chances are so poor at the moment. Poorish chances for the Charles Martel uh, division. Comptable. Equally poor at the moment. Just have to keep them on a steady course and see what's happening of how do the French react. Check if we can actually do some airstrike. No. I really, really manage the carrier back. Memo to make sure organize a strike for your torpedo bombers when you start the battle. Otherwise, they just disperse everywhere and go to the search panel and don't do any search from it. Oh, hum. Never mind. So, yeah, they're not too bad. He's not going to be causing any problems. Just need to watch him. And here the Italian fleet goes in. See, they seem to be firing across the island. Nice. Loire engine room a hit, and the Desai a hull hit. So that's three hits on the Rican, one on the Bouvet, one on the Gloire, in exchange for only one hit on them. I mean, they are out shooting us quite comprehensively at the moment, I have to say. I'm going to open up the range here because I don't want the ships to suddenly find themselves in a minefield. Italian. Battleships here, uh, so battle cruisers there, are clearly at the moment going into the port, although obviously they don't need to go straight in. The Gloire and the Desai are getting the worst of it. So we might use this to our advantage. Since the Italians are clearly fancying their chances with my two battle cruisers, I could. Turn them, and then turn them, and then turn them. 
and lead them back. I could bring Char Charles Mattel across and across, across, and the Undomptable. Just carry that down and see if we can't box them as they try and follow our battle cruisers. So, new plan. Okay. Undontable will carry on, and the Gloire and the Desay will turn. And turn again. And again, managing to hit us. So we're turning, and our aspect is very low. Wow. So one, two, three hits on the display. Another on the Gloire. North, two on the um, Pen, and one on the Uve. Check on the about that oh yeah all a bit of a struggle and finally for these guys get them to turn north now that sudden turn won't have helped their speed oh yeah 12 15 mm. i might have i might have turned a bit harshly there Worse, the Italians aren't showing any great signs of um, following at the moment. Pitch that out slightly. See what's yeah. So the Italians are happily in their port area. I'm going to take my speed down to eighteen. So there, down here, I guess it seem to be away. Look at the Gloire and they, they've both taken a fair old pasting. Not too bad, but that's a bit harsh. Bring the Charles Mattel down there and start to turn these boys round. So, looks like aliens are getting away. This will probably count as a defeat for their advanced running away skills, but I'm not particularly feeling bad about it. I think I've gratuitously mismanaged has been the um, area. Our shooting has been Consistently poor. Not sure why. Uh, everybody's feeling it in the heavy weather. Charles Mattel's squad max. Here are the Italian battlecruisers. You can see the majority of the Italian battle fleet running away. Doubt there's much to be done there. Down here, Charles Mattel division are slightly out of range. By these, Italians. oh, okay. So the Italians really have actually turned around and gone chasing. So let's bring the Charles Mattel division across. I don't think the Gloire and the Desay are to take too much more activity. 
see the Italians there have almost completely disappeared. But I'm going to bring this division down to cruise. About to turn them around. Yeah, Carrier still has no aeroplanes whatsoever. We've hit one of their battle cruisers, which is bridging. Continue turn down there and then go see what's in here. So uh, this is forcing the Italians to turn again as they risk having their T's crossed by Charles Mattel. But I think we will go south. Bring. Then we cross their T down this way rather than across that way. To go back up north. Bring these lads south. So our hope now is we can get something from these guys. Time remaining is an hour. That's not long. So if I'm to achieve something before nightfall, I'm going to have to close up. Bring these in here and bring these in for that. No hits, no hits. And then two hits on their bath cruiser and one hit on the Suffron. And another hit on the bath cruiser. Okay, that's going a little bit better. Just, uh, just checking what's going on here. So they've still got one of their battleships. Not gone in the port for some reason. I'm going to take lads down here and just shave the edge of the minefield area. They do have their broadsides open, so that's nice. Charles Mattel, ditto. Let's look at the percentages. So two, two percents at. 12,000 yards there, and 4% the on double, double uh, itself, and then a very poor one from the devastation, probably smoke interference, and then fine for the other two. That's coming along. Gloire and the, the Say. They're firing at long range. Okey Somehow the Dessay has actually fired both of its torpedoes. I don't change that. Right, so the French, the Italian battle cruisers are very much turning towards us. Continue to pursue. Just shave in the angles slightly. Not being troubled. Now they're turning the other way. Trapped. Not much happening up here except for this battleship which we're firing at and not hitting. Uh, check the ammo damage. It's look at those two two lead ships, twenty five and twenty two. That's that's a quite a bit of thumping. Nearly down to 50%. Okay. Let's go back. What is now the main action? A flatten out for the Charles Mattel to open up their broadsides. For the Loire, say, not get them too um, broiled in a close range action. So what's going on here? So this Carlo Alberto has medium damage, but has retained its speed. One has also medium damage and gone down to 15. And this one has light damage, but also 15. 
This is looking good. Actually, I said I was going to close the range, so let's close the range. Yeah, this color, Alberto, seems either to have jam steering or to be slightly suicidal. Oops, slight fail in pausing there. So Charles Mattel has uh, started to engage the remaining uh, Francesco. The Devastation and the Rishnu don't seem to be shooting at anybody. Let's just check. No. Why is that? Still got 50% ammo. Suggest they might want to shoot these guys. No idea. I am. Um, Unless I'd previously ordered a target and then it stopped. Gloire and the uh, Dursay are enjoying finishing off the other Carlo Berto. Dom Cabal is flooding at zero, so I'm sending her back home at eight knots. And also true here, flooding two. lower. There's sort of a sense of it doesn't really matter so long as you just keep the speed really down. These uh, Italian destroyers seem to have been driven off, which I'm pretty pleased about, except for this one, but this is heavily damaged. So I'm just going to bring the destroyers back and bring the cruisers back, just to make sure they don't turn back on me. Ammunition is running out, but that doesn't matter because time is running out. Yeah, well, there's a uh, destroyer blowing up down there. All for the good. Also do. Gratuitous victory missions. Their speed is 15 and they've got heavy damage, so I just don't want them to get away. Goes up again. Nightfall isn't far away. Is our uh, battle? I think this is going to be over before that. Two. No. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, eight hits. Great shooting. Lovely. And a couple. And another. To straighten up these guys because asking for a hit. Uh, take the cruisers off or into the fight. Just check on our cripples. How are you doing? Zero flooding, keep it that way. One flooding. Uh, take the cruisers all the way in. Round. Oh, and now it's it's raining as well, just to bring the uh, sighting range down to almost nothing. So 
I don't see any reason to risk things. So, Charles Mattel Division, back home. Devastation, back home. Rakan, back home. Nice. Boom. They are going and the Gouloir as well. Let's see if these light cruisers can find something in there. Suppose these boys, since they're so close, should torpedo them. Perhaps they'll do it on their own initiative. Hello. Right, lads. Sharp turn. And bring these boys up. Do you have any torpedoes? Oh, you do. Hey, come with me. Ah, sharp turn the wrong way. But at least we know where it is. Back. Unidentified. Unbelievable. Enemy B hit by... Oh, that's down here. That's finishing off that stuff. Right, cutting back down to zero. Okay. Wounded chum. Also, it's okay. So, cross fingers, as time marches on, they will get. Let's just see if we can find anything around here. Hello. Trap, if I ever saw one. If only we... If only we knew what it was. If only. Right, let's see if we can finish this chap off. Ah, finally, we've identified them. Hooray! Let's just see if the back end of this division can have a pop with its three lovely torpedoes <laughs> at uh, 400 yards range. I mean, can we miss? Well, of course we can. Go back here. Friendly ship and way. Well. So. I'm not going to move the Devastation uh, up towards the battle cruiser. I'm going to leave it to these chaps. I have a quiet word with it. And a hit. Well, thank you very much. Let's see if we can uh, keep doing that. How are these guys for? This box keeps on zooming all over the place. Well, that's still a high. A high is a high. Go for that. And ditto for the cruisers. Let's straighten them up. Let's bring the destroyers round. Let's. Let's bring them around more gradually, otherwise I'll kill all of their speed. Ah, well, that seems to have stopped the um, Francesco. Let's see if we can fire a torpedo. Nope, out of arc. Come over here. And that's a high. Okay, let's go with that. These boys around again. 
and another torpedo. Well, that's good. And, you know, there is something very satisfying about a really good set of torpedoes smashing their way into a lost ship. So I'm actually going to put this one onto AI and probably this one too, actually, because I think this is it. One. And two misses. There you go. Just when you think you couldn't miss. So let's try the uh, CFX. See how that feels about it all. And the Pascal. Just to overkill. No. Nope. Okay. And again, let's put these onto AI. Because really, my main task now is to run out the clock and bring my wounded ships back. Where have they gone? Oh, they're down here. Poor little devils. So how are you doing for flooding? Zero. Okay. You should be all right. Um, we're currently doing four knots. Okay, I don't mind that. And you're also doing four knots and you've got zero flooding. Okay, so cross fingers, it's all going to be fine. So everyone is just going to go on to um, A. Wasn't a. Okay, that's the whole fleet. Let's crank up the speed and set it to just run and let's just hope okay all right i just noticed the um the trident seems to be trying to go to the wrong port home i mean much as i love its desire to recover its planes let's, yeah let's send it back down okay um we've got a, quite a lot of time to go but hopefully we will be too distant in a long time. I'm watching the log because what I'm really interested to see is if there's any flooding difficulty. Let's pause. Send these boys to port. Hopefully that was three battle cruisers to us without losing anything. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Yes. Excellent. One heavy heavy damage, but not sunk. Um the game is a bit of a shocker when it comes to heavy damage you know it only takes a month or two to repair whereas in reality you know it could take six months or more or whatever their battleships knocked about lightly with one medium damage ours five light three with medium damage the um the division up in the van did take quite a bit of a beating it has to be said but the plan to split the Italian fleet in two and crush the smaller bit totally worked. So I'm pretty pleased at that. And a couple of destroyers to boot just as a sort of minor uh, boost. Really, the light forces were dampened down completely by the uh, 22 knot limit because of the sea state, making them only useful at the very end for finishing off sitting ducks. So oh, that's nice. 51,000 for them, 263,000 for us. So that's really, really nice. Strange decision from the AI to, um, if we look at the Force flagships, to send theirs into port. Um, whereas we chased their battle cruisers down into this pooey mess down here until it was all done. And that's it. So let's leave this. And go back. I'll zoom in a little bit. So 15,000 victory points uh, against 3,000 enemy victory points. That is well worth naming a battle. I was uh, with a perennial enemy. I always think it's wise to call it the first battle. There may well be others. And that's sort of it. A bit of unexpected advances as well. Hooray! Or uh, advanced superheaters, and but baffled by double guns, 
and we can now do CVL construction. So that's a, a tricky one because obviously I've just started on the um, conversions of the battleships to be a fast CVL. So I'll have to have a look at what we can do with a native from the keel up CVL. Um, but that will be for the next turn. I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, <laughs> research is coming thick and fast. Uh, minus one 14 inch guns. Uh, they've torpedo destroyer. Stuff's going round. Not a lot, really. And 190 for the blockade. So we're still blockading them, which is uh, really, really important. But here we are, January 1922, all to play for a great start to this war blockaded and a major defeat in a fleet encounter. It was difficult to um, get it sorted at the uh, beginning with all of the nonsense going around with the fleets um, being a rule unto themselves, but it finally, finally came good in the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for this brilliant game of ours. Bye for now.